Make no mistake, your laptop temperatures will look like this after a while. And unless you take certain measures after a couple of years, it will inevitably be like this. No matter the laptop that you have, no matter the cooling system that you have, the problem lies in the fact that thermal paste always goes bad on laptops. And there's no way around it. Let me make this short and sweet. There's this thing called the pump out effect, meaning that laptops, unlike desktops, always fluctuate in temperature. They go like, oh my god i'm boiling to hmm, i'm pretty cool oh my god i'm boiling a half second later hmm, i'm pretty cool again and this drastic spike in temperature slowly makes your thermal paste basically flow out out of the space between the heat sink and where your laptop cpu is as a side note get a load of this cat i don't know if you can see her Toulouse, say something to the people no, now you're silent can you hear the, can you hear the purring yeah, thank you for your contribution let me turn this thing on. There, now we have fancy animations in the background as well. So, while this fire here might be for a fact, I truly think that this comparison is 100% accurate. We need to change this about laptops, or we need to die in hell maintaining them, and I do not want to do either. I went down the rabbit hole, and I found something that truly, without being clickbaity, without exaggerating, Without doing the whole YouTube shtick, I can say with an absolute clear conscience that I found a solution, and that solution, of course, has to come from China or from Amazon, links in the description, but I'll come to this later. Basically, if you have a laptop, you need this. This is the answer to your overheating gripes. This alone took my laptop temperatures from 105 degrees Celsius which I have no idea how much this is in American units, I'll put it on the screen somewhere, to at around 80 in a CPU gut-wrenching benchmark that makes my laptop scream. And quite frankly, I cannot ask for a better result. But the thing about this is that it suffers no pump-out effect because this, let me do some editing, this is a thermal pad that replaces your thermal paste and doesn't suffer the pump out effect and effectively keeps your laptop cool or steam deck or whatever device you might have that requires traditional thermal paste it keeps them cool for the entire entire lifetime of the device which is quite bonkers if you think about it in fact i'm gonna open it but I have to be careful not to hold it for a long time because it's sensitive to my body temperature. But I'm going to hold it so I show it to you guys just a bit closer. So it's cut up like this because I already used it. But basically, this is PTM7950 or how I would like to call it the Miracle Freaking Pad. The highlight of this video is not only to introduce you fine people to this, but to actually give you a few pointers on how to apply it so that you don't mess it up like most people do. If you do it just the right way, it's actually so easy to set up on your CPU slash GPU that you will probably never use thermal paste again. Hell, I know I will never use thermal paste again because this is just more efficient and it's 10 bucks. I think if you buy it on... AliExpress, it's like $7, and if you buy it from Amazon, it's like 12 or 15 or 10 I'll put links down in the description, you can check. And it also comes with everything you need, like a tiny screwdriver, a brush, which I guess I used to brush some dust off my motherboard, a tiny shadow, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not shadows, but anyway. And this little thing helps you with the installation as well, because... These pads actually have a very thin, transparent plastic film, both on the top and on the bottom of it. So, you don't even have to have any equipment in your apartment. Oh, they even give you a guitar pick so that you can open your laptop. I've killed so many cards in my wallet before realizing I can use guitar picks to open my laptop. I can't even tell you people. You take some measuring rope and you measure the width and height of your CPU chip and GPU chip. This is absolutely necessary so you know how big of a cut you need to make from this thermal sheet. And as long as I'm on the thermal sheet, make do yourself a favor and buy the 8cm by 4cm or 80mm by 40mm one 
because this will give you a lot of room for mistakes and it will give you way more thermal pad than you need and you can actually have a few failed attempts and not run out of this thing. Then take a cutter, do not use scissors, scissors just mess this process up. Take a cutter, a sharp cutter, and cut it up to size because you measured the size of your CPU and GPU chip beforehand. And then take this little shit, if I can find it. And then take this little thing that comes with your thermal paste. Let me focus. And you use the tip to take the thin plastic sheet from the thermal pad. Place the thermal pad on the CPU and then you use this to take the other side of the plastic sheet. And your end result should be a perfectly placed thermal pad on both your CPU and your GPU chip if you have a dedicated graphics card. And you're done. You put your copper heatsink back on and your laptop will basically never have thermal issues again. You don't have to open it up to replace that damn thermal paste ever again. And in case you think you don't have these problems, I think you actually do. If you have your laptop for more than a year, your thermal paste is probably well on its way to being totally ruined. So if there's anything, any advice that I can give to the people that like me and watch me on this damn void of the internet is seriously get one of these. It's a lifesaver. I wouldn't ever be promoting stupid things for you guys for a commission. By the way, <laughs> perfect segue, I'm gonna leave affiliate links for both Amazon and AliExpress for the PTM7950, because that's what this is called, in the description of this video. If you buy from those links, I'm gonna get just a small kickback coming my way. And Honeywell PTM7950, because this is the name of this thing, is actually only used in industrial machines. It's used for the machines that are supposed to last for 5, 10, 15 years. The machines that aren't really made as consumer devices to break down after a couple of years. So if the big guys, if the big companies use this thing, we should as well and not be stuck with the crappy thermal paste that they shove down our throats, metaphorically speaking. <laughs> oh God, I need a script for this stuff. I'm basically free talking in all of these videos. So if you find inaccuracies sometimes, just know it, it's because of this. In fact, I think Lenovo has started putting the thermal paste version of, of the Honeywell PTM7950, well, at least a slight alteration of it, that comes in thermal paste form in their very, very high-end gaming laptops. And I think that has a bigger shelf life than most thermal pastes. But there's a 99% chance, give or take, I pulled this number out of my ass, that your laptop isn't part of that very few number of laptops and your thermal paste might actually be mediocre as all hell as mine was. And this is better than Thermal Grizzly, this is better than, than Arctic, don't buy MX4 or MX6, don't buy Kryptonaut, just buy this thing. All of those eventually wear down and you have to repaste. This lasts basically for the entire lifetime of the device. I'm not gonna prolong this video more than I should, but do yourself a favor, Listen to me on this, well, listen to me always because I think I'm the only honest YouTuber out there which actually does this out of a passion because I think life is meaningless and we need to attribute meaning to our own particular things and we're all gonna die anyway so none of this ultimately matters. But coming back to the present and to a less intense kind of topic, this helps your laptop and you can game without ever worrying about your CPU or GPU attempts after this. Anyway, this was my short rant on the Honeywell PTM7950. Thanks for being here. I can't wait to talk next time to you fine people. I always read your comments, by the way. I genuinely learned from you fine people. And I love stuff like this, so keep them coming. I also have some Steam Deck clips if you want to watch them and some clips on this little guy, which is the Mio Mini Plus. And quite frankly, I'm kind of thinking of covering new stuff from 
this point forward. So if you have any topic ideas for me, please let me know. And if something is interesting enough, you can bet your backside that I'm going to make a video about it. I love you guys. You nice strangers. You, I, I bet you're all beautiful inside. Have some comrade kisses from my end and see you next time. <laughs> Bye.